In 2017, the Magpie adult choreographers created their first dance film as part of Re Rosas, the fabulous Rosas remix project. The dancers learned a section of Ana Teresa de Kirchmacher's Rosas Dance Rosas and headed off to their local shopping centre. The dancers enjoyed the filming process. Take a look at how everything came together.
swing it. In 2019, Magpie Dance began the project E-Motion when dance and technology collide. As part of this project, Magpie Dancers worked with a creative pro team at the local Apple store to learn a variety of new skills to make their own dance films. In November 2019, they took part in Video Walk, capturing cinematic shots. So, do you know what we're here to do this afternoon? So last week we were focusing on still photography and then this week, for the first two sessions that you're joining us for, we're going to be going through video. My job is to make you guys feel comfortable with some of the kind of key tips for like videoing on an iPhone or an iPad. You're probably going to want to record with your phone that way, landscape. The reason is, is because when we film that way round, we're going to end up with a video picture that is the same shape as our TVs. So like this, if I turn the phone that way. Okay? Do you see the difference? Okay, so if I turn it that way, when we watch it back on a TV, it's not gonna take up very much space. If we turn it landscape, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not filming you guys. When we turn it this way, look at that. Jamie's posing. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm James and we're just going to have a quick look through a couple slides looking at different types of shots that we're going to be using when we head out into the wonderful wilderness of Bromley. Okay guys, these are some of the shot types that we're going to be looking at today. Let's have a look at some examples of these shots together. Yeah. Here's some examples guys. So on the screen, this is a wide angle shot. So we've got the mountains in the distance and the sky at the top. And somebody standing direct center, but this wide angle shot is capturing a lot more than just the person. We're really taking in the scenery here. Wide shot. This is a medium shot. So we've got a lady being gifted presents by what I think are her grandkids. Then we would maybe film about the waist up and that's this medium shot. So we can see nice and closely what George is doing. But if we just filmed George's face, we wouldn't actually be able to see what was happening. Medium shot. I 
Sometimes this type of shot would also be called an action shot because something's happening. Action shot. Here we've got a close up. So if you were actually trying to tell someone where to go and you were filming a map, the close-up would be the best one to go for. But yeah, a useful shot for filming detail or something with very precise movements. Zoom and close-up.